In Provence, the deep blue of the Mediterranean Sea echoes the blue ocean of lavender fields of the hinterlands. This cultivation, practiced since the days of ancient Rome, is still the pride of numerous families in the region, and notably those around the village of Valençol. Here you go. Oof. Gee. Oh, is it fresh? <laughs> you bet. These farmer vendors have had lavender in the blood for several generations. The grandmother you see here was my father's mother. She cut everything by hand up in the hills. Then my father-in-law and a few friends founded the distillery. And my husband took over from him. Lavender is the star of this store. It's sold in a hundred different forms. Stuffed toys, soaps, sachets, and the best-selling essential oil. I offer my customers a small bottle for cuts, insect bites, twisted ankles. It has so many properties. We call it the Walker's Pharmacy. The lavender sold in this store comes straight from the family farm. They still use an old harvester from 1973. In keeping with tradition, these farmers leave the bundles in the fields for two days before they go to the distillery. It's a very old method. It was the first mechanical method after the sickle. And we're the last to still use it. It works harder and more tiring, but it's a passion. And we have a great team, so we enjoy it. Now, people who compare oils prefer ours because its scent is stronger. But the work's a lot harder than with modern techniques. We take our time to harvest and distill, whereas the others make industrial quantities in a single day. In the world of lavender, while some stick to traditions, others bank on state-of-the-art technologies. I worked with the constructor to design this four-row prototype, which is the biggest lavandin harvester in the world. Lavandin is a hybrid variety of lavender. The Valençol Plateau is the world's biggest producer of this variety, which is much more productive than pure lavender. By cutting four rows of lavandin at a time, this machine can harvest 20 hectares a day, seven times more than with a traditional harvester. It's true that today it's mentally tiring and there's more stress, but the work itself is fun. We have an air-conditioned cab, modern equipment. On this farm, the lavandin is immediately collected in trailers and goes straight to the still. The trailers are covered, turning them into gigantic pressure cookers. The lavanda is heated at high temperature, and the seeds release their scent. After cooling, the essential oil is extracted from the liquid in the separator. So here's our natural lavanda extract. Our product is 100% natural. As you can see, we produce, like in all distilleries really, 100% pure lavender. Lavender farmers aren't the only ones searching for blue gold. I'm going to try and get this bee. The fields of Valençol also attract artists. This graphic artist from Germany fell in love with Provence and has lived here for 20 years. I love it when there's shade, when there's a play of light. The crucial thing is to find the right angle. I see the lines better from higher up than lower down. The Valençol Plateau also draws amateur photographers. <laughs> Here, 
Here, young Chinese women who are so excited to see their first lavender field sometimes cause accidents. But these are no ordinary tourist snaps. They're all trying as best they can to copy their favorite star who plays the lead female character in a Chinese TV series watched by 200 million viewers. The story of a honeymoon in France in which lavender plays an essential role. So now, the village of Valensol is known across the globe. And every year, attracts thousands of tourists from all horizons.